Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the 10 most powerful CMD commands for networking in Windows 11. These commands are essential for diagnosing, troubleshoot and optimize your network connections like a pro. Let's dive right in. The first command is ipconfig one of the most fundamental tools for networking on Windows. You'll get details about your network adapters, such as your IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway. If you use ipconfig slash all, it will show you detail of your network interfaces, IP, Mac, and other lots useful information. Command two, ping. Next up is ping, perfect for checking if a device or website is reachable. For example, to test connectivity to Google, type ping space google.com. The ping command sends one datagram per second and prints one line of output for every response received. You'll see the response time in milliseconds. If packets are lost, you'll know there's a connection issue. Command 3. Tracer. Now let's talk about Tracer, short for trace route. This command maps the journey your data takes to reach a server. For example, type trace it space and then type destination IP or domain. It shows every hop or device your data passes through, along with the time it takes. If there's a delay or a failure, you'll know where the bottleneck is. This is particularly useful for diagnosing routing issues in large networks. Command 4. NS Lookup the nslookup command is a cross-platform command for obtaining DNS records. Ever wondered about the IP address behind a website? Use nslookup. For example, type nslookup, space, then any website address, press enter. This will display the IP address of the server hosting Google. This command helps troubleshoot network issues and DNS-related problems. Command 5. Netstat. Netstat stands for Network Statistics. It allows users to display network-related information and diagnose various networking issues. Now run Netstat, command for monitoring active network connections. For a detailed view with process IDs, all open ports and their current status, type netstat-ano. It will show you all TCP and UDP connections and other information such as network connections, routing tables, multicast memberships, etc. It's an essential command for security checks. Command 6. ARP the ARP command helps you view and manage your ARP table, which maps IP addresses to MAC addresses. To see the table, type ARP-A. This command displays the current ARP table in Windows, providing a list of IP addresses alongside their corresponding MAC addresses. Additionally, it indicates how each IP to MAC mapping was acquired, whether dynamically through network communication or set manually as a static entry. Command 7, root. The root command enables you to manually add, modify, or delete entries in the network routing table. It differentiates between routes to specific hosts and routes to entire networks by analyzing the destination address specified in the command. To view all active routes, type, route print, you can display the current routing table, which includes information about network destinations, gateways, and metrics. This is helpful for diagnosing routing issues. Command 8, Net SHW LAN Show Profiles. The Net SHW LAN Show Profiles command is a useful tool for managing and diagnosing wireless network connections on a Windows system. It allows you to view detailed information about all the Wi Fi profiles saved on your computer. Running this command displays all the Wi Fi networks, profiles your computer has connected to in the past and saved for future use. I have never connect any Wi-Fi networks on my machine, so it is not showing any profile. I am using Ethernet cable for internet. It is very useful command for Wi-Fi users. Command 9. GetMac When you run the GetMac command, it will show you details about the MAC address, physical address, and transport name for all Ethernet adapters, wireless adapters, and tunnel adapters. The getMac command only displays information for network adapters that are active or enabled. Disabled adapters won't appear in the list. Final command 10, system info. 
When you run the system info command, it gathers and displays essential information about your system. This includes details about the operating system, hardware, memory, network configuration, and more. The system info command in Windows is a powerful tool that provides a comprehensive summary of the system's configuration and specifications. These 10 CMD commands are incredibly powerful tools for networking and system diagnostics. Whether you're troubleshooting, optimizing, or simply learning, mastering these commands will level up your networking skills. If this video helped you, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss future tech tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.